Ed Bronstein works on both oils and pastels, and his still life renderings reveal an ease and sophistication with the brush. His house is filled with examples of his craft, and Ed showed us a few of his favorites. So this painting is one that I did in 45 minutes, which is amazing for me. And at the end of it, I said, it's done, finished, goodbye. What it is, is it's a friend of mine who lives down the block that I've known for many years. And during winter times and other times when I feel like uh, I need somebody to talk to and I'm painting indoors, I have friends come over and they sit and talk while I paint them. So um, that's the story of this. And uh, it's something that I'm very proud of. It's unusual for me. But to finish a work that quickly, to capture what I, for me, was his essence, was thrilling, so he wanted to buy it, but I wouldn't sell it to him, uh, which is unusual also. This painting is, is a sort of a, represents a favorite thing of mine, and that's trucks. Don't ask me why, except my wife calls them my boy paintings. Um, it's obviously uh, a little bit uh, sort of elongated. I guess that just came out because I am in awe of big trucks. But uh, so that that's another thing that I paint as as uh, in addition to landscapes. Where do you see not only your role in the society, but what is the role of an artist in society? Well, that is a good question. Mm -hmm. I, First of all, I have to say that when kids don't get art in school, I feel like they're really deprived. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I feel really strongly about now. I did have art, and I was also encouraged by my parents, and so, you know, a lot of kids don't have either of those two mm -hmm. things, so that's... The role of art is to teach people about life around them. I don't, I don't know. I mean, beauty and something other than making money and, mm -hmm. you know, something other than what we seem to be about a lot of the time. Let's use a city, for example. There's so, many, so much concrete and hardness and coldness around us, but it seems like you as the artist find the beauty in everyday, yes. everyday mundane things yes. and show them to us, remind us, yes. at least I feel like, of that beauty. Do you feel the same? I do. It sounds presumptuous to say that, but <laughs> I do. It's stop and smell the roses. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot out here other than what people are forced to think about in many cases every single day. Yeah, yeah, and it's and if I can make the connection that you stopped and smelled the roses yourself. Yes. You were on this career yes. path yes. and yes. doing yes. your architect That's thing very great. successful, but then you said, huh, right. Right. there's something else right. here. Right. And it's more than just this. Right, right. Through both of his callings, architecture and painting, Ed mastered the art of looking at the bigger picture. But what did it mean to him personally? The bigger picture is that I'm an ant, just like all of us, and the bigger picture is the earth hopefully goes on. That's the real big picture. I don't know if that's too big, but otherwise, for me, it's like however many years I have left, the big picture is trying to um, be relevant to things outside me.